Cody. Thank I'm you so much. So happy you're here. I love this show. You're fantastic. You play a, a sociopathic assassin. I think that's fair to say. Yeah, that's pretty fair to say. Yeah, yeah, definitely. With a lot of charm, though. Yeah, she's lovable, I think. Yeah. I love her anyway. Well, we were talking backstage because I also love her. You Have you been surprised by how many people love your psychopathic uh, Stone Cold Killer? I've got to say I am. I feel like everyone's questioning their morals a little bit. They're like... <laughs> I, I'm kind of rooting for her a little bit, <laughs> which I, I wanted. I wanted people to you know, be a little bit scared of her, but then kind of want to be a friend. You know, yeah. go for a drink with her. And you, uh, your co-star Sandra O, oh, yes. a fantastic actress as well. Yeah. And the, it's such a wonderful show to have uh, these two really strong female characters. Mm -hmm. When you first met Sandra, what was that like? Pretty special. I, um, I was on holiday in Barcelona, and I got a call that I'd got a recall for the, for the role. So um, I had to fly to LA for um, one day. And yeah, I met Sandra in this kind of little dingy office in, oh God, I don't really know LA, but in the middle of LA somewhere. There's a bunch of those dingy yeah. offices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was in you, one of them. Do you know the yeah. dingy office in LA? Oh, yes, <laughs> yeah, very been familiar. There. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so we, for any of you who've seen the show, we did the kind of epic scene from episode five where they meet for the first time, that, that clip actually. And um, yeah, Villanelle eats a lot in that scene and it was Sandra's perfect idea actually to, she got all the props in. Cause I don't know, like when you have to act without a prop, you suddenly forget like how yeah. to pick up a cup and how to be a normal person. So she, um, she got all the props and she got me a huge blueberry pie to eat rather than the cottage pie, thank God. Um, yeah, and then by the time I'd left, I'd pretty much gone through the whole <laughs> So you, over the course of an audition, you ate an entire blueberry yeah, yeah, yeah. pie. Yeah. I was like, if this doesn't get me the part alone, then I don't, yeah. know. I don't know what it is. But that's nice, because even if you didn't get the part, free pie. Yeah, you exactly, know? Yeah. yeah. Not was... a lot of auditions, you walk out of there and then no. gotta go and buy was, your pie. I was from Whole Foods as well. I was oh, like, oh, well, that's Sandra. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, you. Uh, the kill scenes on the show are, I know this again, makes me sound like a sociopath. They're mm. delightful. Yes, um, thank you. But there's something really nice. I mean, I feel like we've seen so many portrayals of assassins. Pretty much when Villanelle, when people ask if she's there to kill him, she just gives it right up and she just says, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that must be so much fun to play. It is. I mean, the best part was getting a new episode through and I was just thinking, what on earth has Phoebe Waller-Bridge got me doing now? Um, but it was always just something so bizarre and random, which, again, which I think keeps the show quite fresh because it's not what you expect. Uh, Phoebe Waller-Bridge uh, is an incredible uh, actress, writer. She created the show Fleabag, which mm -hmm. is another uh, brilliant piece of writing. Uh, had you had met her before this show, or did you meet her through the show? I met her briefly um, at, at a... <laughs> God. <laughs> Drunkenly. Um... <laughs> In a hotel room after the BAFTAs. The BAFTAs, so yeah. like the British Oscars. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then did you did you know who she was or? Oh, yeah. Okay, oh my god. Gotcha. I was totally like I was trying not to fangirl because I was obsessed with Fleabag. Um, and then obviously when I got the call through about the audition, I was like, oh, I was really drunk. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. You were then, so drunk that you well, were no. worried you'd. No, no, no. Well, I just got the fear. You know, you get the yeah, fear of sometimes. And um. But then, like, we, we spoke on the phone and she was like, oh, my God, we were so drunk. And I was like, oh, it's okay. We were both, we were, <laughs> we were were both, both in there. the same yeah. boat. Yeah, <laughs> so it was, um, it was lovely. Yeah. Uh, as all assassins do, you speak a lot of languages mm -hmm. in this show, a little Russian, French, Italian. Just Are you, it. do you speak all those languages? No, I speak oh, no wow. languages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very impressed. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of appalled that I didn't, I mean, I'd done Spanish and French for, like, five years in school and I, can't say anything. Really? My, so that's yeah, I can do good. one worse. My mother was a middle school French teacher. My middle school French teacher, nothing. Nothing? Yeah. I mean, I, I actually probably couldn't recite any of the lines from the, of the show either. How do you learn them then? Um, I will, more the languages, I wrote them out as they sounded, which was, seemed like the easiest way to, um, to learn them. But I had an amazing voice coach who, um, you know, kept me in line and also when we filmed in Tuscany and I was doing the Italian uh, I just said to the crew I was like please if I if I'm not doing this any justice <laughs> please just give me a little tap on the shoulder so they did oh so that's they very nice. yeah they really helped me out uh well again uh it I w it would be an honor to learn languages from you to be murdered by you uh all you should of be them. careful what you wish for no please seriously <laughs> any one of them uh congratulations on the thank show so it's much. really just lovely to meet you as well. uh, thank you guys Jody Comer everybody killing me very Sunday nights on BBC America we'll